Today, we're doing a no XL team. And there may or may not be a cat running around in the background. And he may or may not jump on the desk at some point. Hey, there you are. So we are running the line that uh, House Stark won with the Baltimore regionals. I guess I think it was Baltimore. We're running this line, no XL challenge. I do think there are several different ways to do no XL challenge, as well as, um, you know, there's a lot of frost loss going around right now. I didn't come up with a, uh, a frost loss team, although usually frost loss is paired with several XLs to add the tankiness. Uh, our opponent's team is weird. It's entirely weak. Everything on that team loses to Trevenant except for Noctowl, so we're gonna run Trevenant and, ooh, I see what he did there. So he wants me to not run G Fisk. He has two ground types, Metacham, Trevenant, three ground types, Metacham, Trevenant. Man, Venusaur would destroy this team. I mean, so does Trevenant, but we need something for Noctowl. Wow, I really don't like this no XL team. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already wishing I had Azumarill. Um, Noctowl lead, maybe? Let me just switch to our own Noctowl and then find a good spot for, find a good spot for Trevenant in the back, I think. Let me just hope if my phone doesn't mess up if I pick this up. Okay, he led Trevenant. I don't know why I thought he would throw there. Uh, ooh, shiny knock towel. All right. Okay, we chose the perfect time to throw because that's where he's throwing too. It'd be one CMP. It looks like, unless the game just denied him a fast move, it looks like we won CMP there. Yeah. Okay. So we are much way ahead on energy. One CMP. His Trevenant is going to be a problem. Also, wait, is his Noctowl doing a lot more damage than mine? I need to build my other Noctowl. It's got much better IVs. Yeah, his is doing much more damage than mine. I mean, Shadow Claw did do that much damage. Come on. We're just going to take switch here. Oh, oh, this is actually really good. He switched back to Trevenant. Wait, why? Why? Oh, that's Shadow Ball too. So that means the next thing even if that's CMP. Okay, hmm. I mean, we have to mirror match with our Trevenant anyway, but why? Yeah. Oh, do I get to farm down? Okay, this works out. He should be in Hydro Cannon range, and I don't think he has energy to finish. I don't think he has another Seed Bomb. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, I don't know why he came in Metacham and then switched immediately back. That... Yeah, and then, and then, yeah, and then it just stops tapping, yeah. My dude. My dude. Okay, so he has Trevenant in the mirror matchup, knock towel to fight Trevenant, and then the other, th everything else is weak to Trevenant. So I would expect both knock towel and Trevenant to come back on his side again. Yeah, let's try this. This could go terribly wrong, but it's between Charm and Obstagoon, and I'm always, almost always gonna choose the Obstagoon. Oh, error six, what? I had the perfect lead! Does it actually let us split into the game? Hey, we got it! Hey! Okay, so we had the lead we had before was Obstagoon into his Trevenant. So 
If he switches to Medicham here, I'm gonna be really mad. And I'm gonna be like, hey, bro. Hey. Dude, come on. At least it's not Medicham, but like, come on. You got a bad lead. I'm not gonna dispute it because it's practice, but that's 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 pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying, actually. Don't take advantage of an error six like that. I'm just gonna keep alignment. Screw it. I'm gonna farm down and keep alignment. He's gonna come in Metacham. We have two Metacham counters. Actually. Hold up. Shoot. Storing that. Storing that move. Oh, he has. A, probably still has his Trevenant in the back. But, I mean, we're trying to fight Swampert with our, our Trevenant anyway. Oh, right, we win CMP, so perfect timing, throwing immediately. If we still win this game, even after that BS team swap... Just saying. There's a chance. He has shields, though we don't. And here comes his? No. Okay, here comes ours. Even better. So, either way, he probably has to throw... If he has Hydro Cannon, he has to throw it immediately, which I think... Actually, I don't think he does. I think he already used his Hydro Cannon. Yeah, so he's gonna do this again, which I am totally fine with, because that means there's no Trevenant in the back. This is two times in a row that he's done that. And costs himself the game. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could still, we could still theoretically lose this, but actually, there's a one ice punch. I don't know if a single ice punch kills us though. And I do have a full night slash ready, so we get to throw two seed bombs and a night slash. So, oh, and he's not shielding it. Is that gonna work out for him, or is Noctowl gonna farm down? If, or is he just giving up? I think Noctowl is going to farm down. Yeah, one, one wing attack kills here. Especially if this doesn't kill. Yeah, that's just Ice Punch. He needed to go Sidekick there. Bro saw our lead. He saw he led Obstagoon. Aired out, came back with three Obstagoon counters. Just saying. If I have Trevenant in the back, then he's going to put Noctowl in the back. I'm trying to big brain this one. Although if I put Ninetales in our safe swap position, I think I'm going to swap. Holy wow. Yeah, we're swapping. We're swapping Noctowl. I meant to use Noctowl as a safe swap, but... Okay, so what else? So is he just mirror matching Trevenant then? I guess his plan is to mirror match the Trevenant, try and get some advantage somewhere, and just mirror match the Trevenant. I don't, other than the fact that I showed Noctowl here and we're lagging. Okay, well, when you lag, just tap the charge move button. Um, I, I, I don't know. Cause like kind of partially why we brought Ninetales so we can, oh, if we get an advantage, then we take that. Charm tails. Like I couldn't think of anything else he wants to fight to fight my Trevenant with, other than a mirror match. So yeah, there we go. So we have shield advantage on Charmer and Trevenant, both of which are perfect end game options. So we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna stay in here. 
start pressuring here. But he still has a whole nother Pokemon we haven't seen. I'm gonna let this go and see if I can farm down. Unless this doesn't kill. Oh, we went straight Shadow Ball? That's actually possibly even better because he doesn't have a lot of energy left here. Yeah, that works out great. And double shield this and then, what is he, a Medicham in the back again? Oh, Jesus. We could farm, are we gonna farm down a Noctowl too? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to farm down a Noctowl with a Trevenant. <laughs> right after farming down a Trevenant with a Trevenant. What's in the back? Yep, there it is. Medicham. Every single game. Medicham in the back. GG's. Yeah, I'm not sure what why the metacham kept coming i'm not sure why the metacham kept showing up there was nothing nothing on our team nothing that we were playing in game one or game two that was like worthy of, I, maybe he's scared of the obstagoon so we have the, to fight this tanky as all hell team um i wish i had a wall run against this team Ninetales looking kind of busted. Yeah, what's Ninetail? What do you? What? How do you answer Ninetales here? Lickitung or Lantern? I think that's all you can do. I think that's the only thing you can answer Ninetales with. Uh, yeah, Obstagoon, looking pretty decent. Noctowl not looking bad. Ninetales looking good. I think that's what we do. But which one goes to safe swap? Ninetales has to close. Yeah, I think we do it that way. All right. Attempting this line. We'll see. Maybe this doesn't work. Maybe there's a... Ah! I think we play this out. Yeah, my cat's definitely breaking things downstairs. I feel like I play this out. Um, hope they don't throw Moonblast. Possibly. Po no, 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 I'm not playing this out. Because I don't want to have to deal with guessing whether or not he's throwing Moonblast. I'd rather just switch here and know whatever he throws, he's going to throw and dip. And then that just kind of gives away whatever. Sky attack and dip, yeah. Oh, he's staying in. Okay, never mind. Staying in. So does that mean he does have a Metacham somewhere? Save all our shields for the Charmer because you don't have a Steel type. Not a single Steel type or a Poison type. So we're doing this and that. Then we're gonna wait and attempt to farm down with Obstagoon. That's probably a bad idea. Oh my god, wait, I'm gonna make it. It worked. Oh, it worked. So he doesn't, okay, he doesn't have. Oh, oh attack Rose. Oh shoot, he doesn't have a uh, Metacham if he's coming in jump bluff here. So it might be Lickitung in the back or Umbreon. So yeah, we're gonna take that shield. We're going to let this go through, and then it's time to charm. Then, then we play tap tap. <laughs> acrobatics. That move is kind of busted. Actually, I don't think acrobatics is busted. I think, yeah, there's lick a tongue. Uh, this is going to be rough, actually, because it's so so goddamn tanky.
I think one acrobatics kills here, and that's kind of an issue. Yeah. Because we're really only taking damage from charge moves, because both of their fast moves are low, 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 low energy. We need to throw, I think, because I think we're just going to charm down the jump bluff. Hey, man, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. We are going to see, I think I need, this is going to be super close. I need one more charm unless he has double, but I don't know if you can have double energy ball, actually. Oh, thank God. Get wrecked. All right. Did Obstagon do anything that game? He had Altaria. What did he have? He had Altaria and Jumpluff and Lickitung. Everything is weak to G-Fisk on that team. So we're just going to do this. And unless it's Lantern in the lead. Uh-oh. Wait. If he has Lantern in the lead, we're fucked. Oh, God. Thank God. Okay. This is good. Um, you got Sableye, Toxapec, Armory, uh, the... that's a solid team, though. It's very tanky. And Sableye is, as I've always said, the best Pokemon in Show 6 format. Because it only has one, uh, super effective weakness. That doesn't mean that there aren't other things that can't beat it. But, Frillish? You mean, uh... Jellicent, you should, as someone who used to run Jellicent in Open Great League all the time, you should maybe replace it. It kind of, it unfortunately, it just loses to all the other ghosts. It loses to all the other ghosts, right? And then it, um, sorry, I'm trying to like think and think about this and that. It, it just loses to all the other ghosts and it doesn't do anything super well. It, it used to have way more targets. And right now it just kind of gets demolished by the meta. I guess you could fight G-Fisk with it. But we're just going to Shadow Ball. Oh, perfect. Lantern. There is a Lantern. And it's not in the lead. So we're going to let it kill us. And then come in with... Um... Oh, and we even land that. So now it's in charm range. And it's running Water Gun. Uh, actually... Water Gun might be worse for us, but n just not in this specific position. In this specific position that we found the Lantern in, this works out. Double Legacy Umbreon. So that's Psychic and Last Resort. That's some, some crazy stuff right there, dude. Let me tell you. That's crazy. Also, does he have Altari in the back? Is he being a cheeky little... Oh, wait, maybe he doesn't. Wait, what does he have in the back? Oh, even better. This works even better. Because I don't think you can farm me down. Yeah, that, that, that is a super spicy line, I, I, will, I will admit. That is crazy. Yes. So he thinks that we have... <laughs> he definitely thinks... We have Obstagoon in the back. Well, I hate to break it to you, buddy. <laughs> we, we got G-Fisk. <laughs> I want to see how much damage Energy Ball does. I'm curious. Uh, so the problem... So, my only issue with Double Legacy Umbreon... You've got... You've got no way to deal with Sableye. Which is your biggest job as Umbreon. Your biggest job is to deal with Sableye. So, I don't know what your plan is. <laughs> what else do you have on that team that can fight Sableye? Like, like your Umbreon has to... Oh, you also can't fight Metacham anymore. Because Foul Play versus Metacham, you, you need that. Oh, you have Noctowl to deal with it? I mean, that's, that's good enough. Noctowl's busted, but... I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you gotta, your, your, your Umbreon, 
especially so especially because you have two dark types all right so that's 2-0 but we have one more match i mean this line did kind of well just lantern i did show a lantern problem i mean nothing beats the nine tails but let's try this let's try this uh and other poison yeah oh this is an interesting lead one that i'm going to switch out of only because i have two other things that demolish it and there so we get the altaria here all right that's good because now so we have two things on his team that get demolished by nine tails You gotta think he's put Jump Luff away. You gotta think he's not running Jump Luff. Yeah, A9 over Obama, definitely. Obama Snow is like something that shows up when you look at all the teams that are doing well. And then you look at Obama Snow, it's like, this thing could like shred these teams. But in practice, it actually just doesn't because it takes just a lot. It just takes a lot of damage. It's. Yeah, it, it can take down, like, it can cover one thing, but it can only cover one thing. And even then, at that point, make it shadow if you can. Um, oh, it beat, no, it beat Stunfisk. It beat Stunfisk. Yeah, you beat Stunfisk. Um, it's not, it's not a clean win, but you can, like, I think out... Do you outpace it, or... I don't remember exactly how. But you definitely can beat Stunfisk. Also, he did jump love in the back again. My dude. My dude, if we get the shield, that's GG. Oh, wait, no. I already know what's in the back. It's Umbreon. I'm an idiot. I'm not paying attention. And we got the shield... Oh, imagine if I had double rock slide baited. That would be crazy. It has a lot of energy, so I could still lose here. This better be Surf, though. If this is Thunderbolt, rip. No Shadow Obamas. That's okay. Oh, good. It's just Surf. Yeah, I also don't. I also do not have a Shadow Obama, but. That would be, I think, the way to go. I should be able to farm down, I think. One more charm, come on. Yeah, and then what does Umbreon have that's gonna hurt me? Can Umbreon kill me here? I think he still needs two last resorts. This is gonna be really close because I'm still a charm away from Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, but can he get to foul play? Oh, I got there just in time. I think that next I feel like I feel like he should have had a foul play ready. Maybe he was one short and the one that was coming in there would have been it. But we take those. All right, what was I saying? Trevenant in theory can take a lot of these Pokémon. Swampert's definitely staying on the bench at least round one i think i do this 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 and we see how it goes this could backfire really hard but we're gonna see how it goes and see how the opponent plays it um i think we learned from before actually no 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 for this one because we have trevin in the back we're gonna stay in I should have farmed up more. Well, I kind of want to see if, if we get a boost, then it's like you don't want to farm up more because you want the extra counter damage. Even if it's resisted, the boost is so good. Because it's not like against Altaria where we're dealing heavily resisted counters. We're dealing neutral counters. Um, and we're getting to our moves faster and there's no... We don't have to look out for like... 
Well, we have to look out for lag. We don't have to look out for Moonblast. Oh. Um, we're disputing that. Ah, uh, no. No. Because you could be entirely in the lead, and then some lag causes the game to be replayed, and there's still, either the whole match doesn't count, or whatever you did to get you in the lead doesn't work anymore because you've shown like that that strategy or that move or like your shielding habits or something it's ridiculous all right i'm just running the same team i think based on how fast we got into this i think he is too but we'll see what he's got Hey, and we got the boost this time. We got the boost. I'm still going to let this guy attack go, even though we got the boost. I was thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about it. I might shield the next one, actually. The original plan, I think, was going to be soft lose, but if he's shielding... Oh, we got double boost? What the... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just because we got the double boosts, I'm gonna shield it. I don't know if I really should be. I don't think I should, but we're doing it. <laughs> I mean, we're also, because he, he matched, he matched a shield. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. What does he have in the back? Triple boost? Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <gasps> Look how much HP that thing doesn't have. <laughs> uh, I think I've seen a triple boost. I want Trevenant energy, I think. Because I feel like, is there a Sableye in the back? I, I have a bad feeling there's a Sableye in the back, so that's why I'm going to come in Trevenant. Because also, Trevenant can tank a Sludge Bomb. And then farm down. And then, oh, even better. I mean, we're 6-0 in the tournament already. So I gotta like, you know, keep keep it keep it composed so we can go like 9-0 or something. But this is looking pretty good. And he doesn't know I have Noctowl. So here goes my last shield. And then, and then we close out. Actually, I might not even have to show Noctowl, hold up. How much energy does Venusaur have? It has a bit, but it doesn't have that much. It doesn't have that much. We win either way, but we're going to see if we can win without having to show Noctowl. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. That makes game two so much easier. Definitely Noctowl is coming again. His Noctowl is coming for sure. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I think he just goes Noctowl of Venusaur again. Like, what do you do against Obstacle and Trevenant there? Uh, we're going to go the same team. Do we trade the order? Do we put Trevenant in the front and try and find a Swampert? If we have to safe swap Noctowl, we will. Like, I don't want to play out the Sableye matchup, but this works. Obstacle does go crazy as a lead, but he has to counter it. So Venusaur, he either has to counter it or like five head of predict and go Sableye, which thankfully he didn't do that. Um, he went knock Noctowl first game, so that's a little too easy for us to read to read a potential Noctowl lead. So we're just gonna, so yeah, so Trevenant ends up just being what we go with here. And as long as it's not like Sableye, yeah. And then, and then we win Switch. And then he comes in Noctowl. We're gonna throw a Seed Bomb and then match with our Noctowl and possibly, so yeah, he's got Swampert in the back. He's got Swampert in the back. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, if we can get an energy advantage on Obstagoon into Swampert, we can win. 
and if we don't use shields, like we, we also need to soft lose this. Like we soft won the lead. We need to soft lose this. We need to lose my Noctowl to a charge attack or uh, I have to match a shield though. I have to match a shield. Obstagoon doesn't get one shot. And if he switches, I have to switch. Yeah, so we're just throwing right away. Because he already had an energy lead. And the game has been so kind of laggy, I'm not totally sure how much of an energy lead he has left. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So he's throwing Obstagoon Confirm this down. And then have an energy lead for Swampert. Either way, we're switching right away. Oh. We're not switching. Oh, this not even Swampert! My dude. Okay, so this thing has Moonblast and Grass Knot. Do, do we have to... Do we have... To, oh, shoot. Oh, no. This isn't good. Don't tell me. No! <laughs> oh! Oh, attack fell. I was going to say, that did, like, no damage. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 well, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, why is this thing so tanky? Never mind. This thing is ridiculous, like, insanely tanky. Uh, we're bringing G-Fist next game. Yeah, there's the Grass Knot, yeah. GG, Grass Knot 2 coming in. We need to double stack. Okay. That's disappointing that... That a psychic type beats a dark type. Sorry, I gotta think for a second, because we have to win this battle. This is the first single game that we've lost in this tournament, and we need to We need to to win this whole thing. Okay, so he his only rotation, he still had Venusaur Noctowl. And then Cresselia. I, I think G-Fisk, I, I think we lead a Noctowl here. Trevenant, I, I can only choose between one of them. I can't have both of them on a team. I feel like Trevenant might be the better call. It has more matchups that it wins. It just has that one it hard loses, which is the Noctowl. So... Where do I put G-Fisk in the lead? This is a tough call. What can he counter? He hasn't brought his G-Fisk, but I've been bringing a bunch of things that destroy his G-Fisk, so... Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this and just hope that it's not Swampert. G-Fisk does go hard, yeah. I just gotta hope that there's not a Swampert in the back and we win. Oh, Swampert in the front! This is good so far. Okay, so in that case, there shouldn't be too much that I can't deal with on the back with G-Fisk. So we, we're gonna throw energy. We're only gonna shield if, if the Swampert shields, cause we're always gonna be behind on energy. Cause you know, Mudshot Hydro Cannon is always gonna be first. So we're always gonna be behind on energy. But with that damage through there, we can Shadow Claw down. Oh, his own G-Fisk. Uh, shoot, we have to go. Uh, we have to go Trevenant. That's actually kind of annoying that he brought G this game that I don't have Obstagoon. He brings G-Fisk. So he can only throw Rock Slide. I can throw either move, really. But I'm going to try to go for Seed Bomb. You ballsy some bitch. Ugh. That was a crazy call. We have two shields. We should use them. Go. Okay. I'm going to let him throw the next one so I get a little bit more farm. Hydro can We might be in Hydro Cannon range. But again, if we get... 
if we get this thing out of the way and Swampert out of the way. G Fisk is locked on to Sableye or Cresselia. He hasn't brought Sableye, so it's on like Noct. Yep, then it gets locked on Noctowl. Yep, yep. So now all we have to do, because switch timers just came up, so now we just wait until wait until Trevenant dies. We're watching the switch clock at the top, and then and then we match. Then we match that. G, G's. Oh, and we even catch an earthquake. Why not just go Hydrokin? Yeah. So when when the when the opponent switches, the very first thing that happens is the top the the typings at the top switch so like those are a frame one like right there it, it it's frame one it happens so there's still a chance we lose this because shadow ball is kind of good we can take two though but so yeah the typings at the top switch first so as if, if you're expecting any kind of switch from your opponent you look there like you just you just stare at the top um yeah, that's that's just how that goes. There's actually a good chance we lose this. He could he could sky attack bait double shield. I have to do another bait call. If this is sky attack, we win. Oh, thank God. Yeah, because he has to get a bait there. And now we should be able to outpace. I think. I think we outpace. This is gonna be very, very close. If I had matched CMP there, that would have been really good, but I didn't. Uh-oh. Oh, he got an extra one in. Game broken, game broken. Actually, maybe that's actually... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> come on, come on, kill, kill. Yes! And that's how you play Pokemon. Okay. Obstagoon. Kind of looking a little, a little gassy here. It, the only thing it really, like, really doesn't want is going to be the Talonflame. Swampert wants the Talonflame. Although, usually I feel like I see Talonflame lead game two. Ooh. This is gonna be. This might be a tough call. Noctowl's not bad either. It just has two very bad matchups. So maybe I just cover those, and then have, find a Swampert safe swap and see what happens. I'm already rethinking. No, Trevenant actually not that good here. Wait, is Jeefus good here? Swampert might be better. Except for that heckin' Walrin! Except for that frickin' Walrin! Swampert looks better. Jeez. <sighs> uh, I mean, there's no way you safe swap. Bastiodon's either in the front or the back, so. Hey! We got it! We found him! That last minute switch. Punchy time! And then Obstagoon also doesn't particularly dislike Talonflame, but I don't want Obstagoon to turn into farm for Talonflame. So we have to punch this thing really hard. Earthquake doesn't one shot, right? That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, see, we're fine. And then we just two, three, perfect. This is actually like quite possibly the best outcome we could have gotten. We get, we might only live one incinerate, so we're gonna throw 
two counters. <gasps> I did it wrong. I'm an idiot. It's fine. We have, he did his job. We have this next three. So we're throwing on alignment there and or we get an extra mud shot in. We get an extra mud shot in. Even if it's just flame charge, we are matching shields because we will outpace. And there might be a Bastion on the back. Nope. It's a superior. <laughs> wow. We really just got the, the perfect guess of the line up there. <laughs> I don't know how long it takes to kill superior, though. It could be forever. The thing was, were we running RPS or was he running RPS? Which one of us was truly running the RPS lineup? I think it was the opponent because he had fire, water, grass. And we went double normal Swampert. I think so. There's a chance I should have blocked that so I could force, to try and force Talonflame to to use its energy rather than farm me down, but maybe we just, we might be able to pressure enough anyway. Especially if switch timer's coming up. Oh, this is gonna... Okay, so... Noctowl still has a move because I did switch him out in time and I think... Oh, he throws Brave Bird? You didn't double... I think you double flame charge there because I shield no matter what. Double flame charge kind of busted. The thing is, is Noctowl going to do the thing where it comes in with one HP and dies without being able to do anything? Or is it going to let me throw the move? <gasps> it let me throw the move. Thank God they finally made that work. There was a long time where that wouldn't work and your Pokemon would just come in and be dead. I don't want to dab, but I thought about it. That was a good line. I did mess up really bad with Obstagoon and then came back with it. So we might try the same thing and just switch the lead. Because even if he leads Talonflame again, we just kind of punch our way through it, I think. Or do we insta-swap it? No. No, we're going to punch our way through it. Let me throw here. Because then, it, whether he chooses to throw the move or another incinerate, we deny both of them until the end of this Night Slash. And then... I didn't shield all last game, so... We're gonna, we're gonna assume, and it's Brave Bird. You, you monster. What? I'm curious as to why there's so, why he just keeps throwing Brave Bird. I don't know if I should be shielding here, cause that is Psychic, yeah. Probably should have shielded, but, well, we're really tanky, that's fine. Because I'm wondering if there is... Oh, shoot. He's got his grass type in the back. He's got superior in the back again. That's GG. That's GG. Power up punch? I mean, it got the shield. It would have killed. It got the shield. Okay, wait. No, oh, no, no, that, made, that makes sense, that makes sense. Because, yeah, it's grass type in the back, so you bring this out. I ha I have to waste my energy. Wait, but why are you shielding? Is it not a grass type in the back? Is it? Is it not superior in the back? Again, so many brave birds. It's Walrin, yeah. I don't think... No matter what, I don't think we had a way out of this, Walren. Okay, so we're going to readjust. Seems like it is, in fact, time to bring out the G-Fisk. He led Talonflame in the front, Walren in the back. G-Fisk is feeling 
spacing out. Double double spear kills here. Or it leaves at one HP, but it should kill. Even with the well the nerfs aren't on damage anyway, the nerfs are on energy. Okay. We can we can still win this. So it looks like he's not bringing Bastion on. There's a chance he does, but like it doesn't seem like he needs it. So he's either leading Talonflame, Superior, or Walrin. Two of those we win. But he could switch out, because I keep going like... Actually, well, it, no, I keep switching up. He's the one who keeps going Talonflame. So if he predicts Swampert, he's going Superior. So we're just going to leave the thought process at that. Leave it at that. And I just realized that we get destroyed by Metacham. So we might lose this. Okay. Um, weak connection, but we're going to play this through anyway. And we might have to shield our way through this because we are very weak to Metacham unless we land Earthquake. Never mind. I'm not shielding anymore because it's in the red. So if it is a Brave Bird, then yeah. See? I'm there. And now we have to shield because it's not Brave Bird. So we got the first thing. And he's using all of his energy. I should have thrown. I didn't. And this is perfect. Actually. Because we can fight superior with other things. Nah, we lose. This is bad. I messed up the team select. I should I should I So there is something we can try here. Let's get those shields. Because it's power punch sidekick. So we might be able to get to Earthquake because he has to throw Power Punch, which is unfortunately already double ramped. So it's doing some damage and the counters are starting to be absurd. But I think we get to Earthquake and then we lag. So he gets extra punches. That's fun. But does this kill? Oh, shoot. That's not even close. Rip. Okay, I don't like my opponent's team here. This was no fun. This team was no fun to play against. GG. That was a bad ending. It was... Uh... Oh, if he didn't have two there, we could have countered down. That was just... Ah! There was like nothing either one of us could do if we guessed wrong. That was it. It was so... That was the worst way to, th that was boring. That team, that team is so annoying to play against.